and we would bring like, she was always a creative child and so we would bring lots of crayons and paper and and you know lot, things for her to create all day long and so she would entertain herself and I would um, you know be in meetings and and she would be sort of with me down at my feet or off in a corner or sitting at a table creating and uh, and I would be there working and you know it it what I what I would say to others is that you have to find your own path. There is no one way. Um, if you want to be that mother who stays home with your children and and does that, that is an important job. You should do that, and you should be proud of that. That is important, and it was important for me that there that those moms were out there because they helped me. You know, it takes a village, right? And so I was so incredibly grateful for the moms who made the decisions that they wanted to stay home and take other people's children. But that's a choice. You know, if you want to be like me and be a career woman, then 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 do that too. And do it in a way that you can be proud of the woman you are, the mother you are, and the role model you are, because that's what you are. We're all role models for our children, both male children and female children. And we're creating new ways for them to see the world. So show up in who you are as the best you can be for that. We don't do it 100% of the time. I made tons of mistakes. There are lots of things I look back and think, I probably should have done that differently. But I, what I know is that it shaped the woman my daughter is today, and it shaped the woman I am today. I think the problem with us women is we want to be perfect in everything and perfection is a myth. So it's okay not to be okay. It's okay to acknowledge your flaws and move ahead. I think it keeps us a lot more grounded and easy in a lot of moments of life where we feel we're letting down everyone around us. Uh, so Andrea, you are today a TED speaker coach. And uh, when it comes to TED, talks, it's everyone's dream to be a TED speaker or a TEDx speaker. So if there are three things that people should remember, I know you coach people on it, but three things that people should remember, even if they're aspiring to be TED speakers, what would be those three things that every man or woman should remember when they are dreaming that dream? So the first thing is we're all storytellers, humans innately love stories and our lives are nothing more than one long unending story and we forget that we think that um that our lives are you know sort of the things that we do and the way that we live but if you think about it i mean we've just i've just told you some of the stories of my life and you know i could continue on you know for hours with stories of my life why because i've lived a, a long life um and i've got many more years to go but we live a life of stories but here's the thing our stories even though the details are different as humans we all live the same life we all are born, we all have parents, we may have siblings, we have a childhood, we have some form of education, we go into some form of work or some form of a, you know, a marriage, a, a, you know, having children or not children, but these are all, these are all common across the human experience. And so when I tell you my story, what I'm doing is I'm helping you to live your story. And so you're living your story inside of mine. And what we're doing is we're creating deep and meaningful connections in doing that. And so know that your life is a story and that it's important. It's important for you and it's important for the people who hear it because it helps them to understand and contextualize their own lives. So that's number one. Number two, have an idea. So we all have lots and lots of ideas. And when people say to me, oh, I want to give a TED talk. And what they'll do is they'll come to me and they'll tell me a story, which is great. Stories are important. They're a big part of being a TED talk, but that's not a TED talk. A TED talk is ideas worth sharing. So what's the idea that lives inside of that story? 
And there are lots of ideas that can live inside of stories. And so when you have this story that you believe needs to be told on a TED stage, take a moment, take a step back and isolate what's inside of that story that's making you want to tell it on a TED stage because that's the idea worth sharing. And take that idea and articulate it outside of that story. And when you can isolate it and articulate it, then go back and build that story so it leads to that idea. That's incredibly important. And then the final thing about giving a TED Talk is, is that when you're on a TED stage, you are playing the role of a thought leader. In fact, you are a thought leader. And so thought leadership is important and it's a responsibility. And so many people don't think of themselves as a thought leader because, you know, we live in a world where thought leaders are elevated into heads of state or heads of industry or heads of companies. And the reality is we need more thought leaders who live lives like you and I, because we do have thought leadership. And that's what TED has given as a platform. It has elevated the everyday person to the level of thought leader. Now, there are many people who are heads of industries and state that speak on the TED stage, but there are many, many more that are like you and I. But what those people have done that are on that TED stage is they have elevated themselves into that, that role of thought leader. So if you want to get on a, a, a TED stage, recognize you are a thought leader. So when you recognize you're a thought leader and you isolate your idea and you articulate it as an idea and you wrap that idea in your life story, you will be very attractive to TED organizers to get on that TED stage. <laughs>